Go ahead, get you a sip. How much you you willing to bet me? Seven dollars. Seven. Make it ten. Ten. Are you still What's up guys, Garrett Chapel here with 910 Outdoors and today we're going to do something a lot different than what we typically do. We're actually going to take you through the process of our decoy trailer build. Just kind of show you from start to finish kind of uh, how we end up building this jewel and uh, see how she turns out. You know we've been on the fence the last couple years. Look there's Nate. Hey Nate. We've been on the fence the last couple years about wanting to get a decoy trailer talked about it and talked about it well we finally pulled the trigger on it finally got one so we're starting to build and you know i was kind of on the fence about do we film it or do we not um and i just thought it'd be something cool to be able to look back on and kind of show that progress that progression of start to finish of of the whole build i didn't end up filming from the very start um, so we're a couple steps behind, but I'm going to catch you up today in this episode, then hopefully get you up to speed and then take you throughout the rest of the process. So let's do it. So here she is in all her glory. Uh, this is a 7x14. We ended up going with a 7x14 V-nose tandem axle. Uh, we were kind of on the fence of whether we wanted to do 16 or 14, but after standing in both of them, we... Uh, we realized that 14 would be a good good fit for us. So that's what we ended up going with. We got it over here to Nate's house and pretty much went straight to work. So um, we've started on the inside. So I'll, I'll, I'll show you where we're at with that uh, so far. So here we are on the inside of the trailer. Um, so far, the only thing that we've gotten done is really just the painting process. Uh, we knew that's where we wanted to start before we started putting anything in there before we started wiring anything up basically our thoughts to that was we wanted to use some kind of um, sealant for the floor uh, with this being a decoy trailer we knew that it's going to get muddy it's going to get wet it's always going to stay a mess so we definitely wanted something that was going to be waterproof and then something that would just be non-skid some something that's not going to be slippery busting your tail on the ramp uh, early in the morning that just wouldn't be no fun so uh, we ended up going with a uh, herculiner for the floor uh, it's kind of like a Rhino Liner Linex kind of thing that you just do yourself and um, it worked out really good. Uh, it's like a real heavy textured rubberized kind of uh, sealant. As far as the walls go, I said white. Nate had to get a little picky and go Madison white. We call it cigarette white. Well, we ended up doing the walls that really nothing behind that other than we just wanted a light color. Just figured with the lights being inside in the dark, uh, the lighter walls would reflect the light a little better. One thing we did with the floor, uh, we did end up going up like 18 inches up on the side. And I've seen a lot of people do this. We're definitely not the first ones to do this. Uh, at the end of the season, we'll be able to take everything out of the trailer and uh, be able to take a water hose to it and just hose it all out. Good way to kind of clean it out during the off season. We're super happy with the way it turned out so far. So um, now we're starting to dive into the, uh, the electrical stuff. So let the fun begin. <laughs> Cubby hole complete. So this is the electrical room box panel cabinet whatever you want to call it that we came up with basically the idea of this is this will be right inside the front side door of the trailer here in the front we got a door that's going to open up that's going to have our deep cycle battery housed here in the bottom uh, then it'll have a power inverter back on the back wall and uh, like electrical fuse block and everything that'll be in there and then on this side which will be as soon as you open the side door of the trailer it'll open up right here we'll have like our switches power block to the actual converter we're going to be run, running solar on this uh, trailer so uh, we'll have our um, module box for the um, solar panel will be right there and then above that we just made like a little cubby hole we'll be able to just throw odds and ends in there and uh, just whatever whatnots and then just like a little tray up top uh, that's going to house like a charger for our electric hedgers whatnot 
So this is the basic rough idea of what we're working here with. I think we're gonna get it painted up. Then we'll get it mounted in the trailer and put all the goodies inside. Go ahead, get you a sip. How much you you willing to bet me? Seven dollars. Seven. Make it ten. Ten. So what color did you end up going with? <laughs> Syrup. What? <laughs> get her painted up. pretty much done now so just letting this set up and dry once that's done we're going to get it mounted in the trailer let the fun begin start running some wires get everything starting to get in its place so where this cabinet's actually gonna go is right inside the side door so it's gonna go right inside the side door right here on this on this wall right here um, from the front you'll be able to open up that'll be where the battery's at and all that the point reason we wanted it right here is because when you open it up uh, you'll have this main wall right here that'll have all our switches uh, everything right there and then that cubby will be right here and then that top tray up top so that'll kind of be our setup to where we can open up that side door and access all the electrical all right guys that pretty much does it for today we made good ground on the cabinet got the cabinet done got it painted everything's ready to go Next step is getting it but uh next step is getting it buttoned into the oh. next step is getting it but god die gum it next step is getting it mounted into the trailer and uh then the electrical work begins see you on the next one